Hi Sagittarius. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining me. I'm very happy you're here. My name is Christine. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to another Sagittarius Tarot reading. Sagittarius love tarot reading. Sagittarius love reading. And as is almost always the case here at the Tarot Closet, Sagittarius love messages reading. Channeled love messages from your person, messages from their higher self. Their feelings for you, how they feel about you. Sagittarius, this is a timeless reading. You are here when you're meant to be here. This is a faded connection. It means there's a message here for you. So welcome again. I'm glad you're here. I want to show you the energy that's coming in. Look, looks like somebody is coming in here with the truth. Libra ruled by Venus energy, the Queen of Swords coming here with the Knight of Wands, which, yeah, is coming here pretty fast. Look, we see this, particularly this brown horse here, filled with humility. So that's apologetic energy. Also pushing through, well, pushing through obstacles and really coming here with a victory energy, like they really want to come in here with the truth. It's an inspiring energy. It's the movement. It's the Knight of Wands. So let's see, Leo energy, let's see what else is coming through here. The truth, what else? And what is that around? Sagittarius, I'm channeling for you in February 2022. You could be here in real time, of course, but you could also be here many months, even years later. All the decks that are coming in are linked below. You'll also find all the playlists, of course, Sagittarius, your zodiac readings, all 12 zodiac readings. You'll also find all signs, tarot readings. Those are love readings for the collective. And if you are on a twin flame journey, there are very long very in-depth Twin Flame readings below, so feel free to check anything out that you are inspired to check out. I want to show you this energy that is coming in. Look at this. It's the Ten of Cups, so the truth definitely coming here. Also, a new cycle, the end of no contact, no communication, and or in separation. It sure looks like it. Were you in the Ten of Cups? Had you built a life together? For some of you, a family, What you know, that's going to mean something different for everybody. Were you building this life together or was it on the table? It's definitely on the table here. This is a renewal coming in. Yeah, a lot of hopeful energy, a lot of potential here. And we can see also a lot of healing energy around this renewal. Here in the star card, Aquarius energy, Uranus energy, really changing everything. Coming here, of course, to an aid, and that is an action number. It's also around manifesting abundance. It's truth, it's balance, it's renewal. Look, the wish that's being made, pulling the star, pulling the star in. So it's like, what have you been wishing for? Energy, and it looks like the Ten of Cups. So again, were you in this energy? Were you on your way there? It's definitely here. And this can also be, of course, around I want to say blending families, you know, building families, building, of course, a life together, even introducing families if you're at that point or it was at that point. Sagittarius, let's see what else is coming through. Remember, this is a general tarot reading. It's not going to resonate for everyone. Always take what resonates for you and let the rest go. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. I need to fix your cell night. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Watching, sharing, liking, subscribing. It really helps to keep the channel moving. I appreciate it. Sagittarius, let's see what else is coming in here on the back of the Ten of Cups and the Star Energy. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. Please show us what Sagittarius needs to see today. Aho. It's judgment. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely a new beginning coming in here. Look at that around this long term connection. Wow. So they're coming in here pretty fast with communication and that truth we saw coming. 
This is where their energy is the strongest. It's the Knight of Swords today, Libra and Mercury energy. And of course, Libra is connected to an infinity here. And well, for some of you, that's around twin flame energy. It's also here in the death rebirth card in your partnership placement. I know that's not for everybody, but it is here. That's also a forever kind of love. You could say a deep connection. Look, the Hierophant is here and it's around the truth, balance and renewal. So this King of Swords, look here, bring it in their owl. That's a Scorpio energy, by the way, the owl, the King of Swords. No, <laughs> the King of Swords is the Libra and Mercury energy. And of course, Mercury is the planet of the mind, the planet of communication. So they have a lot to say and it's going to change everything here, holding on to their sword, which is transactional. That's clarity in this re your relationship. That's information. That's also the truth. The divine um, energy here with the messenger here with the crow above is sort of like making sure. <laughs> like, yeah. And it's a really fast energy. And again, you know, it's this owl here. The owl within the Knight of Swords is a Scorpio. And they're all about inner transformations and self-actualization, loyalty. You know, and they, they can hold back. They're, they're not really that emotional owls, interestingly enough, or they hold them back. And they're, they are very emotional, <laughs> but they hold them back. And they're, they kind of work behind the scenes. So everything that the truth, the, how they feel about you and whatever else is around that truth, everything that's been getting held back is coming in here and it's really fast and it's catty corner to the Hierophant. Find masculine energy, Taurus energy. And this is a card of commitment, marriage, partnerships, contracts can not even be around paperwork, slow moving. This is, I feel really clearly coming around the two of you, and this is a totally new beginning. Archangel Gabriel, Judgment Energy. What do you want? What do you want, Sagittarius, this person? Wake up. <laughs> Wake up. What's your purpose here? What's the purpose of this? What do you want? With, from, Sagittarius. Get some clarity and make a decision here. This is coming in. This is your person. This is the King of Swords energy communicating from the past coming in here and this is well airing everything out the truth clarity and the truth that they're both receiving balancing out their energies and that Libra energy of course that we all have divine feminine divine masculine energy within us and yeah when it's out of whack which it can be quite often we don't always make the best decisions you know a little too much ego not enough ego too much confidence not enough whatever they're balancing it out here and it's like, boom, I got it. I'm coming in here. And it is around this partnership. So whether you were in a long-term commitment, you were working toward it. We saw that 10 of cups coming in. And yeah, whether you had built a life together, you were building a life together or it was on the table. It's definitely, definitely on the table here. They're coming in. This is reconciliation. Now it can also be around some closure. You know, and we are seeing here in the partnership placement, the death and rebirth. So it really could go it either way with the judgment and the death and rebirth card here. Scorpio energy, by the way, really big changes, a, a transformational energy, which we also see in this owl. So this truth that they're bringing, the communication, the reveal, the clarity around this owl, which is also an owl is a Scorpio is going to change everything. It's like a make or break conversation. Where are you at with this? Because it is resolution, but it, it's reconciliation or closure because we're also seeing that look death, rebirth. And a lot of times it can be, of course, around the death of what? Well, ego, <laughs> that's here. I'll tell you that. It's coming in in a really different vibe in a much higher vibe. There is a second chance energy a change energy in that as well because we see the ten of cups back on the table so you know what was happening with that ten of cups we also saw the truth coming and with that ten of cups came the star a lot of major arcana already here today and that is the renewal and that's hope for that and i know there's been a cooling off period so whether that you're just not talking or there's commun communication issues and or in separation that much is clear but that star energy coming with the Ten of Cups is also a strong energy of healing around this Ten of Cups connection. That clearly something has been going on, whether it's around a life you were building, had built, wanted to, or play, or was on the table. 
So yeah, lots of hope, lots of not just hope. I mean, it, it's the clarity and it's the renewal I feel here. And this is definitely around the new beginning and the rebirth energy here in the infinity, of course. Connecting some of you again to Twin Flame Energy, it's not for everybody, but that is a, a particular kind of love. It's like a forever love, you know, long-term, just commitment, deep commitments, soul connection energy, truth, balance, and renewal. So there's going to need to be why this is hanging, whoa, hanging off. You know, it was like, I think it was in reverse and it flipped over. There's going, there's going to be some kind of... There is needing to be, I should say, some apologetic energy, some forgiveness that's needing to be made. Look, and it's around this foolish energy here, some bad decisions, and also in reverse, Aquarius and Uranus energy. And we saw that Aquarius and Uranus energy coming in with the star, which is hope for the renewal and clarity around it. So yeah, what happened in the full energy? Because it's a careless energy, it's... Also kind of like not being there. And I can also see here connecting with the Eight of Wands in reverse. It's not really great communication or lack thereof. Maybe even waiting on a message. Hierophant energy here. So we know that this King of Swords has a lot to say. We see it in the Eight of Wands in reverse. It's just minor arcana energy of some kind of some delays. And I do feel like it could be around what they have to, what they're trying to say here. Because it's a lot. <laughs> you know, there is... Archangel Gabriel is literally saying, wake up. This lover, I should say, one of two of you coming in here from the past, how far back does it go? Make a decision here. So they're coming in here definitely with the truth, again, with apologetic energy. There's a little bit of fear around it. So there's a slight delay. But we also see with the death energy, with judgment, that I mean, you know, how long is the delay here? I don't think it's very long. This is some of the past energy here with the fool coming here in reverse. But it's it's both, it's kind of like what went on and it's also the delay in the new start. Because of course that is, you know, going in and having coming in with all the baggage out of the way. Like having worked it out and then being able to go here and begin again. So it's both... The past energy and just the delay in the upcoming energy. And part of that is around the Two of Pentacles. And, you know, it's connecting here. So I'm wondering, is there another contract, relationship, partnership that is playing a part here? And it can be around romantic connections, okay? But this other pentacle, also the Two of Pentacles here, of course, Capricorn and Saturn energy, kind of like a choice between two things or lack of balance, weighing out some options, so commitment issue energy. It can even be that this other contract is around like lack of balance with money, uh, with work, not being able to, to give the time that's needed to your connection because it's somebody who's been working a lot. Whatever that is, whether it's a romantic connection, it's work, it's money, cultural, religious differences, I do want to mention that it can be connected to other people oftentimes in the higher font, there is like an expectation conformity energy, like, you know, other people that are in their head. So something, you know, other people kind of interfering, whether it's in their head or even in their life. It is here. You can see it. But we also see a pretty happy energy here getting ready to go up this step here. And it is coming via communication. I do feel this is a totally new beginning, Sagittarius. It's a matter of this choice here. Again, what is that? What is the other pentacle that is here today in this Capricorn and Saturn energy? Because this decision, we already see that they're making it. And it looks highly, well, it looks, it looks <laughs> like it's you, that they're choosing you. But we need to, we need some more here. Because this decision is literally connected here to this death and rebirth card. And that's a four. And that is a manifesting energy. But it's also the four areas of support and stability. Mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual. So those are holding up the foundation of, of like, let's say, dream relationship. Or, or, you know, that's kind of, I don't know. <laughs> it sounds funny. But just a solid connection. You know, a solid relationship with everybody showing up and putting everything up. You know, the support, the four areas of support, the stability around the emotional energy, everybody's showing up, the truth, communication, 
the emotional, mental, spiritual, and physical. Again, so for some of you, maybe there's a long distance energy. But again, that's like manifesting all of that. We see it's a rebirth. It's the restart here. And look at all the major arcana energy. Also, what I was already been coming in with the star energy. It's the hangman, Pisces energy. And yeah, of course, it's a whole nother perspective, which they, they have been getting here. And we can see they're getting ready to communicate. Part of that is the I was going to go psh, <laughs> wake up energy from Archangel Gabriel. The angel for messages, the herald of visions here. Wake up, make a decision. Literally, look. Hello. <laughs> make this decision. So things can move here in this connection. And again, what is it around? What is that other contract relationship? Is it to another whole living situation? Is it literally, is it needing to give up a job? Is it needing to give up an apartment? Is it needing to release some kind of interference energy, the death of something in order for the rebirth. You know what I mean? So it's like, what is that? It, it is obviously connected to the Hierophant, which is both connected to your connection, but another kind of pentacle here. Again, contract, money, work, ego, strong in the ego. So is the death of the ego needed? Is it the fear of commitment? Is it giving up an apartment or a job? Is it getting some interfering energy out of the way? Whatever that is, they're trying to do that. They're literally doing the work here, getting this perspective because they have been indecisive and they haven't been moving. It has been a strong period of uncertainty and there really needs to be paradigm shifts. And that's, that's literally like doing everything in a different way here. And when you can see it, I mean, death, rebirth, judgment, it's like this has to be different and make this decision for that to happen. And this is a 12 and of course, that's coming to a three. And there's some delays there, six of cups, okay. That is coming, whoa, whoa, coming to a three page of swords too. Sagittarius, they are watching and holding on to that truth. Look at that, literally here, watching you know, for some of you, it can be around social media, of course, but it can also be, look at that, the Six of Cups and the Lovers coming right after one on each other's back here. Four of Swords, Ace of Wands in reverse. We saw that coming in with the Ten of Cups too. So for some of you, even with the Six of Cups, there can be some friends and family connections that you have, and maybe they're even talking to other people. Or if you've blocked each other, they're looking at somebody else's social media. That's not going to be for everyone how it is. Well, that particular example is what I want to say. But exactly how they're watching you, how is it? You know, are you connected on social media? Can you be Googled? What is it? Because they're, they're definitely doing that here and getting ready to make this move. It is delayed. We're seeing that here with the Ace of Wands in reverse. And just a minute because... I had a message that was coming in and as your, your cards were coming in really fast, it was kind of lost. Okay, maybe it's coming back in. Yeah, of course it is. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, so the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo and Sag, you're here. And that's literally a delay. It's like, yeah, I mean, it's a delay. And it's even here to look with the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Eight of Wands. It's even telling me that they can be kind of rewriting a message, whether it's in their head or literally typing it out or voice messages they're deleting, phone calls, or even messages that are coming in that you see kind of like disappear unsent, if that's the case. Because we just see the, the delay in that, but we also see that they're coming in here. They're holding on to the truth, first of all, what is the truth around? Well, we know it's around how they feel. It's also around that Ten of Cups and the star energy. Yeah, getting over their ego to come in here. This is definitely asking for a second chance. So there, there's something here that they're saying they've changed or they're going to change. Again, I think it's whatever's going on in this Two of Pentacles. It's this decision they've been indecisive about that they need to make. And is that just literally around choosing you? because they're choosing you. That's what it is. They're choosing you. Make a decision. Death and rebirth. Make a decision between whatever this is, work, money, another connection. Get out of this indecisive energy. It's enough already. <laughs> work it out. Crown chakra activated here, you know? 
It's timing too, and that 12, and that's what I wanted to say, divine timing, a divine number, communication, growth. Literally growth here too in the death, rebirth, and the hangman. It's like having just getting, putting their ego inside. I mean, they're literally saying, what did I do? Or, do you still love me is what I'm hearing. Because they're, they're really, their heart chakra blockages are being removed. Are you still, are you still here? I think you are. But they're, they're definitely asking you if you still love them. I mean, look at this energy here also. The Four of Swords coming here in the upright. Jupiter and Libra energy. Jupiter is the planet of expansion and prosperity and hopeful energy. Wisdom, of course. Gaining that wisdom, which we know. This King of Swords has their owl, owl partner here making sure that they are receiving the information they need to receive. And that they're also sharing that with you. We know there's a delay and they're also around Jupiter is luck. I always think of that as timing. So is there some timing issues around it? Who's available? Who's not? Who's ready? Who's not? Whatever. This is where you go for that renewal. This is where you go after the Three of Swords. Look at this red thread of fate here that's in this nest. And we saw coming in with the Ten of Cups and the star energy that some of you were had built a life together or were building a life together. And if you hadn't yet, you it was definitely where you were heading. So this, but somebody's still sleeping here in this nest, you know, kind of waiting. The red thread of fate still clearly here, kind of almost like a decoration in some ways. This is not a bad place to be. You know, it's where you go for the renewal. It's the separation from each other. And it's a strong validation with the death energy and the hangman energy here and the hierophant energy because it's sort of like seeking sage energy, you know, seeking advice, like some trouble that's going on. And so, yeah, they can be talking to other people. And for some of you, that might be connecting with the Ten of Cups in terms of like friends or family. Of course, it can even be people that you don't know. But there's this energy of like trying to get their head on right and coming out, of, like sorting out some information quite literally. Look. The Knight of Swords, the Page of Swords, who is watching, and I do feel they're talking about you and not in a bad way, but trying to figure out like what it, what is Sagittarius, you know, whether it's somebody or more than one somebody that you both know or not, it's kind of like, is Sagittarius this or that? I wonder if what they're thinking, is this true? Like they're, they're trying to get some information here. That's what I want to say. So whether it's around people you know or not, that's definitely happening here. And that's the renewal. Yeah, and it's also the energy of manifesting. And again, the four areas of support and stability. So that nest is like a home, you know, like the Ten of Cups energy where you've either built a life, you were building a life, or you were going to. It's kind of like waiting for that rebirth energy here. And a total, total... Again, paradigm shift, like things have to be different. You love each other, I'll tell you that, and they love you. And here in the Six of Cups energy, more Scorpio energy, it's strong energy. And it, of course, Scorpio energy could be here for you, but almost anything can. It's really not about that. It's validating for you, whatever sign you're, you're resonating with, but it's not anything to worry about if, if you're not. In any case, what I wanted to say, it's connecting to that emotional energy and it's connecting to some deep emotions and also some revealing energy here. This is a really nostalgic sun and Scorpio energy. And yeah, they're, they're just really thinking about you, thinking about how things used to be. Also connecting with the Five of Cups energy, of course. We see them lined up here right before this Beautiful, family-oriented, actually. Loyal, interesting, kind of like, yeah, like the Golden Retrievers. You know, they just come and, like, have those eyes, like, love me. But the Five of Cups in between. So, of course, it's the past energy here. You can see it. And some of you have known your person for many years, maybe even going into childhood. That's clear here. But it's also representative of the feeling that you have, the soul connection of just, gosh, this is... There's something here, I've met you, or the feeling, the deep soul connection feeling. But you can see here those five cups, you know, it's leading up to that six cup where they are now. There's five cups here in between, that's the loss. You know, that's everything that's been happening since for however long for you. It's There's a lot of regret here. 
They know that they also regret leaving you feeling like they didn't love you and that, that there's an abandonment energy, and they do. They're literally saying that to you here, Sagittarius, leading up into the Six Cup, which, of course, that's also around restoring harmony. It's a healing energy. Yeah, you know, and it's a reunion energy as well. It's also a reunion energy. So we know that that is really very much on the table here. And it's coming in strong that that I feel that it's however you normally communicate with each other. You know, is that SMS, social media, email, maybe it's phone calls. But again, it could definitely be in person as well. And that's also a validation with the Ten of Cups that came in that, yeah, perhaps it's around an actual event too. Gemini energy here in the Lover's card. Venus energy, Archangel Raphael, the angel for love, for wanting to heal what's broken here. Venus, of course, <laughs> the planet of love. So Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Raphael here in cahoots <laughs> together saying, yeah, there's a decision that you need to make here. You clearly love each other. There's a very deep love between you, but you have to make this decision together. You have to make this decision together. Soulmate energy is, is quite strong here today, the soul connection. I know not everyone is on a twin flame journey, twin flame journey, or cares about it, or whatever. Those of you that are, that energy is here. This does come in a come together energy, whether, again, it's in person or, and, or I should say, via, via message. But they're coming in here planning, for sure, they're coming in here with the truth of how they feel, and it does look like they're coming in here also with an offer. And look where, you know, that Ten of Cups we saw in the star energy. Yeah, lots of hope for that renewal. Look where the Lover's card is. It's right above the Hierophant, the energy of commitment, long-term partnerships, you know, and also that soul connection. I want to just see what is coming in. Oh my gosh, look. Yeah, so, oh, wow. Wow. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands is the last one coming through, so I'm just going to talk about it so I can put it down. It's the Sun and Aries energy. It's coming together. It's a collabor collaborative energy. It's, of course, around, it's divine, a divine number, around divine timing, communication. Look at all the fire energy. Of course, that is passionate energy. It's also a really fast energy. It's around matters of the heart. There's two flames of love still burning here. There's something going down. There's one here and it's starting to burn out and that's the death and rebirth energy here, I feel. So that third party energy, whether that is whatever that other pentacle here is in the two of pentacles. So whether that's a romantic connection, it's ending a contract to a job so somebody can move. It's ending, like putting a stop to somebody or something that's interfering. Ego also, I tell you, that is clear. It's goosebumpy actually. And yeah, it's a, a teamwork energy. It's coming together and it's the expansive energy, you know, and that's moving forward. And it can literally be somebody, for somebody here, there's travel involved. The Ten of Cups is back. So this is definitely on the table for you. The end of no contact, no communication, again, and or in separation, a totally, a, a, the renewal, a new beginning here, it deduces into a one. All the potential that is still very much here. And that's been playing a really big part in your connection. The Eight of Pentacles coming here in reverse. It's the Sun and Virgo energy. And you know what this is? That this needs to be worked out. They want to work this out. This is like, it's like a repair work, you know, like it hasn't been worked out yet. And we know that already. That Eight is an action no matter what, whether it's in reverse or the upright. That's, Hello, I caught the camera <laughs> just in time. That eight, of course, is also around some karma, working it out, a karma, karmic, excuse me, situation here in that eight, that two of pentacles too. I tell you, choosing you here, it's strong. And again, that eight is always an infinity symbol. You know, it's never ending. It's infinite. It's a particular kind of love. And again, that's connected to the truth, to balance and renewal. The last tarot coming in. I love this for you, and I'm not surprised, is the Two of Cups. So we have the Six of Cups. 
the Ten of Cups twice, the Lover's card, and the Two of Cups, Venus and Cancer energy. Definitely love between you. That's incredibly strong. The Soulmate energy is strong. If you're on a Twin Flame journey, that is also here. The connection between you. Look at the, the emotional energy, of course. This is Cancer energy, and it's Venus. It's around the love here. It can be that what they're coming in here with is a proposal for marriage. We've seen the Ten of Cups twice. It's back. It could be even a reproposal. We're seeing the Hierophant card. L lots of indication that there is a marriage proposal coming here for some of you. I want to just be clear that proposal energy is also proposal proposed to what? Talk, meet. Let's make this decision. They're asking you something. <laughs> I want to tell you, it may not be marriage for everyone, but it is something, and it's and it's a reconciliation energy. This is they're choosing you. They're choosing you. They're coming in here. Paradigm shift is strong. The death of the ego. It's really, really strong. They're working something out again. I feel like they're talking to other people. It could even be for some of you. That's around logistics of seeing each other around the reunion energy, around maybe even the proposal. So whether that's marriage, to meet, to move in, to come back together, whatever that is, it's really incredibly strong. I really, your reading is really goosebumpy today. Sagittarius, obviously you love each other and there is going to be a decision to make here. There is a decision to make here. I want to bring in some oracle cards. We're shuffled, but I want to just move the energy a little more. It's yours. <laughs> and see what else is coming in. And then we're going to get into some channeled love messages, messages from your person, messages from their higher self. And in particular, some Valentine messages as we are working our way up to Valentine's Day, if you're here in real time. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Please show us the cards for Sagittarius. Aho. There's the renewal. There's the ancient wisdom and the renewal. The information here. Also the connection to the divine, of course. The downloads, the listening. The sphinx who you also had to tell a riddle to, you know, to get the information, to get the chariot moving, to get the information out of the high priestess energy. Yeah, I really like this, and I'm, this is definitely that energy. And the Renewal is the first card that wanted to, to come through. There's that heart opening, the heart chakra, you know, and I tell you, it's kind of gross when I, think, when I think about it, but yeah, like a lizard loses its tail, it grows it back. I mean, this is just a certain, this is a, the love here, the connection is a long-term, this is a soul connection energy, you know. There's obviously, you're destined, there's a destined energy here for sure, Whatever happened, where things are able to go right at the moment, maybe that's not so clear for everybody here, but it's clear how you feel and it's clear they're coming in and it's clear that there is a decision that is eventually going to be on the table here. I guess you could say literally, <laughs> but I mean for the two of you. Unconditional love, there's the infinity sign. I'm also hearing, I love you to infinity, look. That's the James Young song coming through, connecting with the Six of Cups, the Ten of Cups, even here on the mind in the Four of Swords, this red thread of fate, a faded connection, a destined connection, a new pathway here, look, a new passage. It's like finding a, it's a union energy, it's a new direction, it's opening up possibilities for you. So whether this is literally around locations or what you can do, the decisions that you can make now is what I'm hearing. It is here. I really, your reading is, yeah, I, I really like this a lot for you. By the way, I'm not reading Oracle in reverse. I should tell you flag devotion, waving the flag of devotion. Also, it's kind of like, uh, yes, it's like a not giving in energy, but you know what? I, I think it might be look because it just came here with resistance. You know, because the indecisive energy is has been here. So yeah, that's definitely, and by the way, that does bring in some Taurus energy. You know, and you can see that there is a, an eclipse here. So we just need to get that shadow out of the way. Shadow self also connecting with ego and death and rebirth in this Scorpio energy. Yeah, get the ego out of the way because they have. So whether that's just around commitment issues in that two of pentacles, that that's what they need to get out of the way, that's the other 
contract kind of with themselves. Or again, it's and or something else, a person, a place, a thing, whatever. It's like resistance to change, resistance to make that decision and decision and the hangman. It's like, get out of here now. Because it has been a period of uncertainty. There needs to be a paradigm shift. It's strongly connected to the ego. And what else? These are, I think, the last three. The Ram leadership taking this role to move forward. Yeah, that's really clear, actually, because they've been farting around here. <laughs> Look, as my mom would say in the page of, that's yours, page of swords energy holding on to that truth. Wow, look at that right in the middle of the deck. Those are yours. Snail, persistent, slow but persistent, slow and steady. Wins the race. They they go underground for, I think it's around two years, and they come up and they just pick right back up on their trail, carrying their little house with them too. Wow, so that's a strong indication for those of you that this is connected to location or changing houses or apartments that's a validation for you and look at all this beautiful energy just coming out so yeah this ram the leadership taking the lead making a move is really clear you might not be expecting it although i guess you could be now <laughs> the sun is here i really like this too because that's also here in this three of wands around the timing the sun and aries energy of heading toward the sun for a happy outcome for a victorious outcome it's a beautiful energy of course it's one of the most beautiful the ten of cups and the sun energy the lover's card the six of cups i mean it's the two of cups here working toward this new beginning toward a happy outcome a new day the sun of course the conscious also the release of the the ego that's been around this if, whether it's just around commitment issues or just the ego of making a decision, they are getting over that. They're, this is an asking for a second chance energy. Look at that. Temperate here, the lion. Bringing in temperance for me, Archangel Michael, the angel for divine protection, divine justice, lighting the way to the truth, which is the sun, and getting everybody on the path there for the highest good of everybody, giving them the courage, literally, right here in front of the sun energy, which is also coming in here, lots of validation. And one could say the strength card in many ways too, getting the courage for that. And look, honor, wreath, honor, devotion. For some of you, I tell you, if this is not a marriage proposal and heart connection, it's like the lover's card again. Look at this here. Again, that's honor. If this, <laughs> these, they're driving me crazy here. Uh, there, that's better. For some of you, this is around a marriage, maybe even a remarriage together. But it is a re it's not going to be that for everyone that it's marriage. But it is a proposal energy, and it is a decision. And it is definitely a reconciliation here around two people who really love each other, who want to be together, I feel. But some things have really had to change here. Again, whether it's just commitment or if that other contract is... What is it? Money, work, other people. Vitality, temperament, honor, connection. Yeah, you know, it's it is strong. Look, the renewal here coming with the sun. They can actually stand the heat. They they love the heat, as you know. Okay. I don't like covering anything, but it always happens here. The heart connection. I'm actually, yeah, I want to put this here with your two of cups. Hierophant, Lovers, Ten of Cups, Wreath, Six of Cups, although it kind of needs to go here <laughs> with the Ten of Cups. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> I'm going to bring in some channeled love messages for you, messages from their higher self, messages from your person, Sagittarius. I'm really, that was calling to me. I'm really curious what they have to say. And we're also going to bring in some Valentine, valen early Valentine's Day messages if you're here in real time. Even if you're not, I read from those often, of course, but they're feeling particularly special today, especially for you. And as we get up to make our way to Valentine's Day, I made so many mistakes. Judgment, the death card. Four of Swords. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. Look, resistance and in between the Four of Swords. I think of you all the time. Six of Cups, energy really strong. 
Do you miss me too? Yeah, I mean, that's that energy here. I was stupid. Okay, so there is a lot of apologetic energy here. I like that. <laughs> I'm putting that in the fool in reverse. That's definitely where that belongs. We were destined to meet. Yeah, the fate and the fated connection, the destined connection energy has been really, really strong here today. That's also bringing in the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy, bringing in Leo, Scorpio, Taurus and Aquarius energy. You know, it's the cycles of life. It's always changing. I made so many mistakes. I was stupid. Did they, they, I made so many mistakes so that it's coming through twice here. Validation, do you still love me? Do you still love me? Heart connection, two of cups right here with the lover's card. I stare into your eyes and photos. That's the page of swords energy here. <laughs> yeah, so looking at their phone, looking at their computer. What is that? We're going to bring in some more, but your last love message, love note. Do you think of me too? I think of you all the time. Look at that. Do you think of me too? I'm yours. I love you. Oh my gosh, my stomach is growling. <laughs> I don't know, I hope you didn't hear that. You're my biggest wish. That's the star energy too that came in and that's also this nostalgic energy of the Six of Cups. I mean, it's really everywhere here today to the moon and back. So that's the I love you look to the moon and back. I love you. Okay. This is, this is the two of you here. I love you. I love you. I will always love you. I think of you 24-7, Six of Cups. I stare at photos. I stare into your eyes in photos. I stare at photos, Page of Swords. A lot of orange here. Look, it's like the sun energy. Give me time to work this out. That's what I just heard there. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse because we know it needs to be worked out. Thinking of you now. Strong. Your reading has been really, yeah, it's been really goosebumpy, Sagittarius. I'm sending a message, we know. Waiting. The delay is here, it's strong. Love you. We are a faded connection. We are a faded connection that's come through really strong today. Your last channel love message, message from their higher self, Sagittarius. I miss you. Yeah. Sagittarius, your reading has been really goosebumpy. It's been my honor to channel for you. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I would really appreciate it if you took the time to like today's video and subscribe to the Tarot Closet if you have not. This really helps to keep the channel moving watching videos, of course, and sharing them, liking, subscribing to the channel. So thank you for that. I'm sending you so much love and light. I need to fix this. <laughs> Hoping for the best outcome for you and looking forward to seeing you at another reading. Until then, take really good care.